Alright, so continuing on from what we did last time, we're now going to add parts 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on both sides, which is 18 ribs in total so far. Um, I'll only show you how to add these. There is another 5 after that, which makes it up to 16 um, before we get into multiple split ribs. Um, but this bit is really, really, really easy as long as you make sure they fit in there in the actual holders and glue them into the top. Um, it's a simple process of using your template to mark the cutout areas, mark them up. I then used a lovely rasp to shape it, fitted it, saw if it was correct, shaped it again, fitted it, and I was finally happy with it. Then used some fine grain sandpaper to smooth it off and clean it off so it's a nice piece with no sharp edges, um, obviously because this is going to be a display piece. Um, a real ship's not going to have smooth edge, but it looks a lot better. Um, and then I'll glue them in place. So we'll assume you know how to file and sand. Um, I'll just show you how they all uh, glue into place. Right. Make sure your edge is facing in the right direction. Obviously the bevel this way. Uh, that's why I've got these pieces here and these pieces here. It's only a matter of applying the glue at the base. Applying the glue at the top, making sure we've got them in the right position, and making sure they all fit perfectly into the slots, both here and here, and fit nice and tight. And that will adjust all the spacing for you. That's basically it. You just keep going. I'll put the glue all the way along to the ones that I need. Six, seven, eight, nine. And make sure we got the right number. Six. Fits to the bottom, fits to the top. Flush against the thing there. And all the lines line up. Seven. Flush against the bottom, correct against the top, fitted. Eight. And nine. A bit of extra glue, never hurts. People see this and go, eh. Glued. And that, use the ribs on that side. Now it's a matter of repeating the process on the other side. So we've got the right numbers. Six. Seven.
Right. And no. Sure they all fit in nice and tight. Up here. And the sanding's lined up. All the bottoms are correctly up against the edge here, so we push them in properly. These are all lined up. And it can be left to dry. And that's the first nine ribs. And I'll add the next six down. No point me showing you how to do that, it's exactly the same. Although I may add it on the end of this video. Take a while to sand them up and shape them. And we turn it around and we start on the rear section. Okay. And so to end this video. Or 16 or 32 individual single ribs have now been installed and glued in the front part of the hull. And now, according to the manual and our process, we start with the rear of the hull and build that up. Catch you in the next video.